Okay, this video is about how to uh, take the system apart for uh, for shipping. So, well, first of all, we probably want to take off the uh, the cards, get the weight out, and just flip the card so it doesn't uh, roll away. Okay, so now what's actually connected securely? It's only one uh, screw here, the one bolt, and over here. I used to be able to put another screw there, but um, since Pasco has changed the, the uh, aluminum feet into this plastic bulkier feet, that hole actually, the screw hole has been covered here. So there's no screw here anymore. There used to be two of them. And uh, I'm just going to, uh, to loosen this one here. I didn't really tighten so much. It doesn't need to be a tighten that much. So that's the only screw that's holding the, uh, the track. Uh, and now I can remove the track. So, okay, so let's set the track here. And after the track is removed, uh, you need to uh, remove these stoppers and also the feet so that the track is just by itself and uh, you can put the, uh, the track back into the uh, cylindrical storage. Uh, for shipping, and these can actually just slide inside of the uh, the box that uh, I provided to to carry the rest of the uh, the equipment. And let's go back to the uh, the stand here. The stand doesn't really take too much to uh, to take apart either. So let's first just take uh, turn off the electronics here. So that pro will actually ask you whether you want to save data. You definitely don't want to save data there. And it turns off. And this one turns off just by unplugging the power from the bottom right corner. Okay, so now this one turns off. And let's disconnect this wire here. Disconnect this power adapter. This one's free. You can put it back into the uh, the other box that uh, that's shipping with the uh, the, the cylindrical uh, box, cylindrical container that has the uh, the track inside. And just disconnect these uh, these fairly easily. I'm actually doing this with one hand, so it's a little, a little hard. And now you have the box, and also this cord right here that you can pack. And uh, now back to the uh, the force gauges, um, because it doesn't really fit the way it is mounted right now. So you have to uh, dismount the force gauges, which is uh, fairly simple. Each force gauge is held down by one. Uh, thumb screw. If you flip the uh, bottom up, you can see this plastic black thumb screw. If you disconnect, uh, this just uh, just basically uh, loosen these. All the three, uh, you will actually be able to, uh, to free the uh, force gauges. Sorry about the shaky video. I'm just trying to do this with one hand. Okay. So one. One's free, and then you can free the other two. And uh, this one will actually go inside of the box, but it doesn't really go in uh, nicely enough, like a uh, flat. But uh, it'll be able to go through, uh, go in the box, uh, basically with diagonal. I'll show you pretty soon how to do this. Okay, so now the second one is just set this aside. Okay, so with this you can you can put it in the box just like that, and uh, uh, re just basically replace the paddings and also the other apparatus in their uh, uh, their places, and uh, I think you're you're good to go. Thank you.